Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the presentation of DET Sports Media here at Kennedy High School between Watertown Indians and the Kennet and the Kennedy Eagles. Here comes the starting five for the for the Watertown. C.J. Manyard. Cam Garcia. Brian McWork and Matt Hardesty. And here comes. Here comes the starting five for the Ken Kennedy Eagles. Sincere Dozier. Davon Solinsky. Jaquan Jones. Kyle Brown and Aaron Brioza. And we're going to rise for the national anthem. For both teams, Watertown looks heavily favored, coming in at six and three, two and two in the league. Kennedy Eagles coming in at four and seven, who are zero and five in the league, and they are looking for their first win. Should be interesting what will be happening. Last time Kennedy Eagles played was against the Sacred Heart, in which they lost by a wide margin, looking to turn things around. Watertown is on the court, and here comes the Kennedy Eagles on the court as we'll get ready to be underway here at Waterbury Varsity High School Basketball. Presentation of DET Sports Media. My name is James Jim, and on the tip-off is going to belong to Kennedy Eagles, and we are underway. Brioso with the ball. He will start it off. Looking for a play to start off with. Over to Kyle Brown. Kenny Eagles looking to get something going. Once again, coming in at four and seven. Starting with a new lineup after Matt Torres and Jay Turner graduated. Brioso with a nice pass, but stolen. And Watertown will have the first possession of the night. There's Yusifi. Yusifi moving to the right over to Garcia. Garcia passing around. And there is Maynard. Maynard coming in at five eight over to Yusifi. Yusifi shoots and it's no good. And that one was off the hands of number 40. And it will be Kennedy's ball. That was Zelinski who had the ball. Brown drives it, loses it, and goes out of bounds off the hands and going the other way. Still looking for our first score of the game. We're about 53 seconds in. And both... Possessions have resulted in the ball going out of bounds due to not being able to handle the ball. Garcia throws it over to McWork. McWork drives in, right hand gets fouled, and he will go to the line. It's on the act of shooting, 
So it'll be two free throws. Looking for our first points of the game is Brian McWirt. McWirt will shoot two. Coming in at 6-0 and 170. McWirt on the first free throw is good. And we have our first points of the game. It belongs to the Watertown Indians. McWirt on the second free throw attempt is good. McWirt is two and two. And Kennedy are now going to look for their first points of the game as they're down by one possession early. And there's another turnover as Hardesty over to McWirt. Back to Hardesty. Anna travels going and is going the other way. Looked like it was Hardesty who took one step too many. And he's going the other way. Brioso with the ball. Now the starting point guard. But a nice turnover as Garcia was able to steal it. And he was able to get the right hand laid up. Second chance points always counts as for Garcia. Brioso will throw the ball in. Over to Kyle Brown. Dozier. In the left wing, back to Brioso. Nice pass over to Jaquan Jones for three. Way too strong. And McWirt with the rebound. Kennedy still looking for their first points of the game as Garcia really drives in and brings it in. Cam Garcia with his explosiveness able to drive it in. And he's got four out of the six points, both on layups. And Brown on the other side with the right hand. He's going to get fouled. Fouls on number 13, that is Hardesty, and Hardest and um, Kyle Brown will go to the free throw line to shoot two. Kyle Brown makes the first free throw, and that's the first point of the game for the Eagles. As he gets ready for the second free throw. As we're approaching the two-minute mark here in the first and opening quarter, and he's a perfect two of two. So after... Kennedy Eagles in the first couple of possessions resulted in turnovers. They get their first points as Hardesty on the other side is able to bank it in. Brown over to Dozier. Dozier drives in, loses it, gets fouled, and it's not going to count. So it's going to be on the floor. But Dozier is going to throw it in. Dozier over to... Zelensky, Zelensky shoots and it's no good. Hardesty with the rebound. Giuseppe shoots. In and out. Oh, wait, nope, never mind. Went in anyway. Giuseppe with his first points of the game, and Watertown is off to a 10 and 2 start. Brown loses it, and it was a backcourt violation. It's going the other way. It's a good effort by Brown trying to keep the ball. Trying to prevent another turnover, but instead he's able to have his left foot go the other way and is going to result in the backcourt violation. Maynard with the ball. Maynard moves to his left over to Garcia. Garcia shoots and is no good there. And it's going to be Brioso with the rebound. Brioso, explosive, throws the ball in the air and it gets stuck on top of the backboard. Looked like he was trying to drive it in, but instead he put way too much strength into it and ends up going on top of the backboard. And the refs are figuring out what they should do and instead they're going to throw in another basketball to see if they can get the, to get the top one. And they were able to get it in. That one almost went into the basket. Wartown with two fouls early, and Kennedy coming in with one foul early. Maynard over to Yusefi. McWhort over to Garcia. You can tell Watertown, some really good ball movement going on as McWhort loses it, gives it over to number 23, that is Torovici, and he's able to make it in. And it's that early double-digit lead for Watertown. They're up by 10. Rioso over to Dozier, Dozier. Over to Zelensky. He gets fouled. Foul 
Foul is on number 14, that is McWord. And two free throws for Solinski. On the first free throw attempt is off. You gotta be able to make your free throws, especially when you're down by an early deficit of 10. On the second free throw attempt is in and out. Goes cold at the free throw line, going 0-2. Giuseppe moves to his right, right near the free throw line, shoots, and it's off. And Dozier with a very nice aggressive rebound. Over to Jones. Jones gets fouled. They're looking for their first field goal made. Their first two points have come in result of free throws, and Jaquan Jones will go to the free throw line to shoot two free throws. Jones on the first free throw is off, and that's three straight missed free throws for the Kennedy Eagles. You can really sense the frustration going on. And on the second free throw attempt is good. Eagles have three points, all resulting in free throws. Giuseppe over, tried to pass it to Garcia, but it's taken away by Jones. Jones, 360, left hand is good. Jaquan Jones with the basket. That's the first field goal made for Kennedy. They're down by seven. As McWhirt with the right hand, can't get it there. McWhirt gets his own rebound. Garcia back to McWhirt. McWhirt is wide open with the right hand laid up is good. There wasn't too much defensive pressure to stop him. McWhirt has four. As Zelensky drives in with the right hand, and he's able to make the layup. That's Davon Zelensky, who missed his first two, first two free throws, but he's able to make that field goal. And there is Garcia, loses the ball, and it's going to be picked up by Jaquan Jones. A bounce pass over to Dozier, and he can't get it there. And Watertown is able to grab the rebound. It's on McWord. And a timeout is going to be called. A good timeout by Kennedy Eagles. Down by 10, they're now down by 7. And one fall too much into a deficit early. In the last couple of offensive possessions, they were able to make field goals, which is definitely a good sign after they start off a little bit ice cold, looking to change things around. As there is 332 left, the score is Watertown 14, Kennedy Eagles 7. And the sound of the buzzer means there will be more basketball to be played. Guerrero is going to enter the game for Watertown for the first time. And Manny Escobales will enter the game for the first time. Garcia with the ball. Garcia moves to his left, does a 360, loses it, and he's able to pick it up. Jaquan Jones almost got it. He's going to get fouled, and, and it's going to count, and he will go to the line for a possible three-point play. Fouls on Escobal Escobales, and Garcia has an opportunity for a three-point play. Garcia almost has half of their points. If he makes this basket, he will have seven. Currently has six, and that one is off. And Kennedy with the ball. Rioso over to Sincere Dozier. Dozier with a pump fake over to Brioso. Brioso shoots a three, and it's off. Brioso is able to get his own offensive rebound. It's almost taken away by Watertown. It's on the other side. Brown on the left wing can't get it there. And Garcia is able to grab the rebound. Garcia flying in. Three guys on him. And a travel is called and it's going the other way. Garcia was really trying to go for that. Go for that layup, being able to drive it in, but he's able to take a couple steps too many. Brioso on a double team. Over to, to Jones, and a foul is going to be called. And 
And the foul is on the floor. So it'll be Dozier who's going to throw the ball in with Guerrero in the game for the first time. And over to try to pass it to Brown, but it's given to Maynard. Maynard almost loses it. Over to Garcia. Over to Guerrero. He's able to drive it in and get the two points. On the other side is going to be Jones. Misses there. Gets his own rebound. Jones on the second attempt. Can't get it there. Blair goes down, and a foul is going to be called. Fouls on Torvici. Dozier, bounce pass over to Brown. Brown, bounce pass to Dozier. Dozier shoots, and it's short. Garcia aggressively grabs the rebound. Garcia, and a foul is going to be called. It's going to be against, against Kennedy and against Dozier. Our time will have another possession as they have an 11 point lead with 205 left in the first quarter. And then Musifi, and the ball is going the other way. Brown with the ball. A lot of ball passing for the Eagles and over to Brown in the right wing. Brown shoots and he's able to get the floater in. Four points for Brown. Garcia pressured over to Guerrero, gets fouled and he's able to get a three point play. That was not an easy shot. A combined 10 fouls in this opening quarter. Giuseppe is gonna exit as Guerrero has an opportunity for a three point play. Watertown has a 20 to nine lead. And he misses that free throw. And Jones with the ball moves to his left. Shoots, can't get it there, but he's able to get his own offensive rebound, and he's able to get the basket, Jaquan Jones. Jones has five, and Kennedy is down the single, di is down the single digits as they look to climb back into this game. Guerrero, the right hand, too, way too strong, and Jones with the rebound. Jones has been a real threat. Tried to go a little fancy with the behind the back and can't get it there as it's as a turnover and a foul is going to be called and another opportunity for a three-point play. <laughs> Got to be careful with those, those kind of plays. As McGuirt will go to the free throw line for a possible three-point play. McWord at the free throw line shoots, and it's good for McWord. McWord has seven of the 23 points. Brioso shoots, no good. Guerrero with the rebound. And Kennedy still struggling as Garcia with the left hand, and it's good for Cam Garcia. Who's been Really tough to stop in this first quarter. As Dozier with the ball. Dozier moves to center over to Brown. Brown bounce pass over to Escobales. And over to Dozier. Dozier goes right back to Escobales. And over to, to Brown shoots and he can't finish there. And the ball is off the hands of Dozier as there's 21 seconds left. And over to Escobales and he can't get it there and Jones tried to grab the rebound and say gives it to the other team. McGuirk loses the ball and is picked up by Brown. Brown with a nice pass over to Jones. Jones had two guys on him and he gets fouled and he will go to the line to shoot two. Jones will go to the free throw line. That last foul was on McWord. Jones 
in and out on the first free throw attempt as Watertown has their largest lead at 14 as there's 7.1 seconds left. Jones at the second free throw attempt is good. So he goes one or two at the free throw line. He's two of four to start off this game. And on the other side with two seconds, one second, and a foul is going to be called. As there's seven tenths of a second to go as Giuseppe will draw the ball in. Over to McWord, and it's no good there as Watertown Coming out strong with a 13-point lead to start off this game. The score is 25 to 12. Main difference for the Kennedy Eagles is that they got to get something going offensively. They've been a little bit ice cold. A little cold to start off the game. Then they were able to get a couple of a field goals in, but they got to keep that consistency going. Another thing that the Kennedy Eagles got to do is that they got to stop the run of Watertown. They have been really aggressive driving into the basket and getting most of their baskets. So it's kind of report for the second quarter is that they really got to stop the run for Watertown and they got to be able to find shots that be able to fall. Be able to find more of an opening. And so on the other side is going to be DeFeo over to to Garcia, over to McWhart. McWhart moves to his right, over to Lucefi. Lucefi with really good defense on him, over to McWhart, over to DeVeo, who had three guys on him, who has three guys on him, is able to back away. Lucefi over to DeFeo. DeFeo, right hand, too strong. Who's gonna get the rebound? Is gonna get Dozier. Dozier grabs the rebound over to number 52, that is Harris Davis. Davis gets fouled, or Jones, I should say, gets fouled. Foul's going to be on McWhart. And Jones will go to the free throw line to shoot two more free throws as they're on the bonus. Jones so far is at 50% at the free throw line in this game. He's 2 of 4. Jones at the, on the free throw is no good there. Garcia with the ball. Garcia moves to his right, loses it, and a travel is going to be called. It's going the other way. Eagles with the ball. There is Sincere Dozier. Dozier over to... Scobales over to Dozier. Nice pass over to Davis, who had no idea where it was for a second. Dozier shoots in and out, and Hardesty with the rebound. DeFeo over to Torvici. Over to Garcia. Right back to DeFeo. DeFeo. Loses it, the ball's gonna end up out of bounds and it's going the other way. Eagles with the ball as we're about a minute 30 into the second quarter and a shot attempt is off. And rebound by Lucifi. Maynard, over to Musefi. Musefi shoots and no good there. And that one's off the fingertips of Davis. Oh 
And it's over to Skobelez. Skobelez right back to Dozier. Dozier avoided the double team. Over to Davis. Davis shoots and it's no good there as Jones is able to finish it on the other side. Jones has eight, is on the other side. He's gonna be Torvici who shoots a three. And it's tied for the largest lead at 14. He's on the other side, he's gonna be Dozier. He's not too happy that he was, missed that three attempt. It's on the other side, he's gonna be Torvici, is good. And it's gonna be an offensive foul. The basket will not count and it's going the other way. basket did count and it is now the largest lead at 16. Dozier moves to his left over to Jaquan Jones. Jones on a screen from Davis. Jones drives in left hand too strong. Davis with the offensive board and Davis able to get the basket. Joe Harris Davis is able to get the two points. Garcia with the ball, over to Musefi, back to Garcia, and over to Maynard. Watertown passing the ball around. On a screen by Hardesty, Maynard too short, and the ball will end up going back to Watertown as off, the, off of the Eagles, off of Jaquan Jones. Artisty tried to pass it to Maynard, but he was able to grab it as, as Dozier almost took it away and Jaquan Jones. And it will stay with Watertown as Jones really aggressively tried to grab the. Maynard moves to his right. Right in the bottom of the wing and then it's McWhort over to Guerrero. Guerrero shoots too strong. Garcia almost had it and was off the hands of Dozier and it will continue to be Watertown's ball. Guerrero with the ball over to McWhort. Hardesty shoots gets fouled. And the foul was on the floor and not on, not on the act of shooting. So it will be Garcia who will throw the ball in. With 4.16 left, McGuart over to Garcia. Garcia shoots, and it's good for Cam Garcia. He is at now double digits. And it's a 17-point Watertown lead as Dozier can't finish there. Ball is going to end up out of bounds, and it's going the other way. Maynard with the ball with a 17 point lead. Maynard over to Guerrero, back to Maynard. Maynard thought about it. And over to Garcia, Garcia shoots a three, in and out and offensive board by Guerrero and he's able to get the second chance points. Guerrero has six points off the bench. And it's gonna be Gavin Todd Todd shoots and it's good for Todd. Three seventeen left in the second quarter. It is 
Watertown 35 and the Eagles 19. Bounce pass over the Maynard. Maynard loses it and Hardesty is able to grab the board or the ball, I should say. And it will be Kennedy's ball. Dozier with the ball over to Todd. Todd who just shot, shot a three in, his la in the last possession and Jones is back into the game, shoots way too strong and Maynard grabs the board. Maynard drives in and a travel is called and it's going the other way and the coach is not too pleased with that last call. Jones with the ball. Jones drives in. Once again, oh, another way too strong as Dozier. Dozier shoots the three as he got, as he really faked out McWord. And a timeout will be called by Watertown. That's the first points of the game for since you're Dozier. as both teams talk it over. So far the scoring summary for the second quarter. Watertown has 10 and Kennedy has nine points. Watertown obviously wasn't very too happy with that that last play when it worked got, got faked and Dozier was able to make the basket. Kennedy looking to get something going offensively. There's two minutes and 32 seconds left. Maynard loses right over to Guerrero. Guerrero shoots right near the free throw line, and he can't finish there. And it's going to be Kennedy's ball as it was last touched by number 31. That's Owen Munson. First time we're seeing him in this game. Todd with the ball over to Jones. Jones right back to Dozier. Dozier shoots a three. No good there. As Jones is able to grab the offensive board. And he gets the two points. And he has an opportunity for a three-point play. Jones is now in double digits, double digits with ten points. And the next point will be his 11th. And he's able to grab it to bank it in. 24 points for the Eagles and 11 of them have come from Jaquan Jones. He's doing everything he can to keep, him, to keep his team in the game as Garcia on the other side is too short on the layup as Davis throws it over way over the hands of Todd and Maynard is able to pick it up. Pick up another turnover as Munson right back to Maynard. Maynard and a foul is going to be called. And it's going to be on the floor. Davis is going to exit and Zelinski is going to be into the game. And it looks like Maynard will go to the free throw line. Looking for his first points of the game. Maynard on the free throw attempt is no good. So he's 0-1 and still, still scoreless. And Jaquan Jones drives in and a foul is gonna be called. And 
And Jaquan Jones will go right back to the free throw line since they are on the bonus. Jones on the first free throw attempt is in and out. Couple of changes for Watertown as as Munson will go to the bench. And Musefi is back into the game. Jones on the second attempt is no good. He's 0-2 on that last free throw try. As Garcia on the other side can't get it there. Try to get the offensive rebound. And it's gonna end up out of bounds and it will stay with Watertown's side. One twenty-three left until halftime as McWhirt is able to get the get the basket. As his first points of the second quarter for McWhirt is on the other side is no good there. As Echeverria couldn't quite get anything there. And we'll stay with Kennedy as it's a 13 point deficit as Dozier throws it over to Todd. Todd shoots a long three, can't get it there. And Guerrero grabs the offensive, or the rebound, I should say. Maynard off the leg of Musefi as looks like there was a little miscommunication there. It's going to end up out of bounds. Jones with the ball right over to Zielinski as we have less than a minute to go. Jones drives in, shoots, and it's good for Jaquan Jones. And it's 11 point lead for Watertown now as McWord over to Maynard. Maynard thought about it for a second. And a foul is going to be called. Foul is going to be on Todd. Maynard at the free throw line with 34.9 seconds left. Maynard is good. So he has his first points of the game. And on the second free throw attempt is good. Perfect two of two at the free throw line. As Jones moves to his right with two defenders on him. And it will be Watertown's ball. As Jones was really, was really pressured by the defense. He had two guys on him. And it's going the other way. Maynard over to McWhirt, over to Musefi. Musefi drives in and is able to get the basket. Nine seconds remaining until halftime. Watertown up by 15. Looking for a spark to get something going and a foul is gonna be called. And it's gonna be free throws for Gavin Todd. As they look to bring themselves a little bit closer in this game, they're gonna shoot two free throws. Two point nine seconds remaining. As Todd on the first free throw attempt is good. So that brings it to a fourteen point deficit for Kennedy. And on the second free throw attempt is good. Two two at the free throw line for Todd. There's two seconds, one second left. Musefi is way too short there, and that is going to do it as we are at halftime here at Kennedy High School with the score being Watertown 41 and the Kennedy Eagles 28. To start off this game has been all Watertown as Kennedy Eagles looking to try to get something going offensively as they will head back to the locker room to think about what they can do to claw back into this game. Stick around here at Kennedy High School. Should be an interesting second half coming up. All 
As we get ready for the second half here at Kennedy High School, the presentation of DET Sports Media. My name is Jay Zammer. We thank you for joining us here on a frigid Friday night here in Connecticut as Watertown coming in at 6-3 hold a 13-point lead against the Kennedy Eagles here at home. And the Eagles look to get something going offensively after they struggled a little bit in the first half. They look to turn things around. While on the other side of Watertown Eagles, it has been them from start to the end of the first half. So look to build on that momentum here in the second half. Largest lead at one point was 17. As the second half is underway, Kennedy will start it off. It'll be the same starting five. It's going to be Jones, Brown, Dozier, Zelinski, and Brioso as as Kennedy starts off the game, starts off the second half with a basket. Maynard shoots too strong. Dozier off the fingertips, and it's taken away by Brioso as a bucket here would bring it a single-digit deficit, and that was off the hands of Watertown, and will stay on Kennedy's side. Dozier with the ball, throws it over to Zelensky. Zelensky over to, to Dozier. Kennedy's down by 11. Jones throws it over, throws a little bit too strong over to Zelensky, but one foot stepped out of bounds and it's going the other way. Maynard with the ball. Maynard has two points in this game. Maynard moves over to the left, over to McWhort, over to Musefi. Musefi shoots. No good there. Hardesty grabs the board. And a foul is going to be called. And it will stay with Watertown's side. McGuart almost got taken away by Dozier. McGuart over to Musefi. Musefi shoots. No good there. Maynard with a strong offensive board. Over to Garcia. Garcia shoots. Off. Hardesty able to back it up. Another second chance for, for Watertown. Maynard over to, back to Garcia. Over to McGuart. McGuart with a bounce pass over to Garcia. And it's good for Cam Garcia. As on the other side, is going to be a foul is going to be called. McGuire with able to keep it in again. In bounds, I should say. And a foul is going to be called on. On 21, that is Brioso. Brown over to Brioso. And it's going to stay with Kennedy's ball. Brioso shoots, and it's good for Aaron Brioso. It's his first points of the game for him. It's a 10 point deficit. They still have an opportunity to come back. Garcia over to Maynard. Maynard on a screen by Garcia. Right back to Hardesty. Hardesty shoots, too strong there, and a rebound by Jaquan Jones. Jones, who had the most points in the first half, he's gonna get fouled. Foul's gonna be on number 13, it's gonna be on Hardesty, and Jones will go to the free throw line. Bucket here would bring them back to single digits. And it's off on the first attempt. A couple of changes as Hardesty will exit. And Torvici will back into the game.
Jones on the second free throw attempt is off. 0-2 oh, at the free throw at the line. You gotta, you gotta be able to make your free throws, especially when you're down by 10. Maynard loses right over to, to Musefi. Musefi backs up a little bit. Still has the ball. Nice defense by Kyle Brown. And over to Torovici, and he stepped out of bounds and it's going the other way. Brown with the ball over to Sincere Dozier. So there's 525 left in the third quarter on the bounce pass over to Davis, who loses the ball. And it's turnover as Garcia over to Maynard, back to Garcia. Looks heavy guarded nicely by Brown. And there is McWhorter's pass to Torovici, who shoots a three, and it's good. Torovici is in double digits. He has 10 after that last three. As Brioso answers back with a three of his own. He's now back, now back to a 10 point deficit. As Maynard over to Musefi. Musefi over to Garcia. Garcia drives in with the right hand and it's good for Cam Garcia who has four in this second half so far. As Dozier on the double team over to Brioso. Off the fingertips of Davis, but Jaquan Jones is there and a foul is gonna be called. It's gonna be on Garcia. And Jaquan Jones will go back to the free throw line. Jones at the free throw line. He's good on the first free throw attempt. Jones on the second free throw attempt is good for Jaquan Jones. It's now back to a 10 point deficit for Kennedy as Maynard. Over to McWard, who shoots, and it's no good. Zelinski with the rebound. Brown, bounce pass over to Dozier, and he can't finish the layup there. It's Musefi. Over to Torvici. Torvici. Over to Musefi. Musefi shoots, and it's good for Musefi. First points of the game. First points of the second half for Musefi. As Dozier on the other side is too short as Brown yeah, got the rebound and is brought back to Brioso. Right back to Brown. Brown shoots. Too strong there. Zelinski keeps it in, but it's intercepted by McWhort. McWhort loses the ball and is going to stay with Watertown's ball as Brown narrowly stole it. Guerrero with the ball over to McWhort. Too strong there. Now foul is going to be called. It will stay with Kennedy's ball as there's 3.21 left in the third quarter. Jones over to Zelinski. Zelinski shoots a long three. Can't get it there. Dozier grabs the offensive board, and a foul is going to be called. And a timeout will be called by Watertown. After that last call, as they hold a 13 point lead, as Kennedy is still trying to find a way to get themselves back into this game. Watertown is probably talking things over, trying to figure out to 
not commit so many fouls. They already had five fouls in the second half compared to none for Kennedy. They've been playing very aggressively, defensively, almost a little too aggressively as they've been committing a lot of fouls on these possessions. Dozier will go to the free throw line. Dozier makes the first free throw attempt. And that's the first point for him in the second half. Dozier on the second attempt is good for Sincere Dozier, who's two of two. As on the other side is going to be Garcia. Garcia drives in and he's able to make the right hand floater. As on the other side, it's going to be Kennedy who scores the ball. And it's now back to an 11 point deficit. This game is going back and forth, back and forth with made baskets. Garcia over to Maynard. Maynard back to Garcia. Garcia over to Yusefi. Yusefi, and a foul is going to be called. It's going to be against Kyle Brown. And the foul is going to be on the floor. That is the first foul of the third quarter for Kennedy. As there's 2.34 left. And a bounce pass over to Garcia. Garcia shoots and he's able to make a very contested shot. As on the other side, now fouls call and it's going the other way. Garcia has 19 points in this game. As after that last offensive foul is going the other way. Maynard gets fouled. Foul's going to be on number 20 for Kyle Brown. It's the third foul. And in the last 21 seconds, Kennedy Eagles have committed three fouls after having none in the first five and a half minutes. Maynard at the free throw line. On the first free throw attempt is good. Maynard has three points coming in on free throws. On the second free throw attempt is in and out. And Jones, or yeah, Jones. Ball will stay with Kennedy. There's Dozier with the ball. Dozier over to Zelensky, over to Brioso. Brioso loses it, and Garcia commits another, gets the turnover as Guerrero, too strong there. Garcia on the second attempt is good. And he now has 21. As there was not a whole lot of defense on Kennedy. as a timeout will be called by Kennedy. They're facing a 16 point deficit. And playing a little sloppy in this third quarter. It's 
scoring summary in this third quarter so far is that Watertown has scored 17 points, and on the other side, Kennedy has scored 14. As there is 148 left. Zielinski with the ball, throws it over to Dozier, and over to, to Escobales, as Jones does a 360. Shoots in, it's good for Jaquan Jones. Jones has four buck, four bat, or four points in the third quarter as a turnover, as an offensive foul, or traveling, I should say. As there is 130 left. Escobales over to Jones. Jones tried to do a bounce pass. And it will still stay with Kennedy. Dozier drives in, shoots. No good there. Jones on the second attempt can't get it there. And he's going to step out of bounds and it's going the other way. One sixteen left in the third quarter. Maynard with the ball. Maynard moves to his right. Garcia with the ball. Moves to his left, right near the wing. And an offensive foul is going the other way. Kennedy's got to get a run in if they want to be able to bring this deficit back to single digits as Zelinski can't finish there. Jones is able to get the basket. Jones will go to the free throw line for a potential three point play. Jones is able to make the basket. Now down to an 11 point deficit as Yusefi shoots. No good and Jones almost had it but it was taken away by by DeFeo and timeout will be called by Watertown. So there's 39.1 seconds left. And this is the kind of run that Kennedy needs. They want to come back into this game. As both teams talk it over, both teams will head back onto the court. Yusefi with the ball. Over to DeFeo. DeFeo. Ball ends up out of bounds. It will stay with Watertown. Bounce pass over to DeFeo. DeFeo over to, to Maynard. Maynard drives in, loses it. And Escobles is able to grab the board over to Todd. Todd shoots and it's good and it's back to single digits. As the turnover leads to two points. As there's 10 seconds left in the third quarter. Maynard loses it and, and Doja grabs the ball over to Jones and he's able to bank it in and is now down to a seven point deficit. As on the other side and Watertown is able not to grab the basket.
but After the winnings was just called there, we get ready to start the fourth quarter as the Kennedy Eagles are on a little run right now. They're down by seven as they played really strong to end that last quarter. Kennedy scored. Kennedy scored 23 points in that last quarter. And Watertown has only scored 17 in the last quarter. It's a six-point differential. It should be interesting to see what the last quarter will have in store as we hope that, that as the momentum hopes to continue for Kennedy as this was the run they needed to get back into this game. Only down by three possessions. As Todd over to Zielinski. Zielinski back to Todd. Todd over the head pass over to Escobelez over to Zolinski and it's good for for Davon Zolinski to start off the fourth quarter and it's now down to a five point deficit as Maynard over to Garcia Garcia over to Yusefi Yusefi moves to his left Yusefi shoots too strong and Zolinski grabs the rebound as there's Jones with the ball Jones shoots and it's in and out, almost made it in. The crowd would have went nuts, but Dozier takes it in. Zielinski shoots, and it's good for Davon Zielinski. And it's now down to a two-point game as they're on an incredible run. Uh, down by one possession. Garcia lost it, and Jones has the ball. And a foul is going to be called. As Yusefi will ha will draw the ball inbound over to Maynard. As McGuart really needs a basket. Over to Yusefi, over to Garcia, loses it, and Dozier has the ball. Dozier drives in, shoots, and it's good for Sensu Dozier, and the game is tied. Game is tied at 58. What a comeback. Game is tied at 58. Garcia throws the ball over to Yusefi as we have a brand new ball game. The Eagles at one point were down by 17. The game is now tied as they got the run they need as Yusefi on the other side shoots and the shooting draft continues for Watertown as Escobelez over to Zelensky. Right back to Dozier. Dozier drives in over to Jones. Jones shoots and they've taken the lead. Kennedy 60, Watertown 58 as the crowd is starting to get really hyped up here at Kennedy High School. As Yusefi, over to Garcia. Garcia, and a whistle, and a foul is gonna be called. As Hardesty looked like he got a little heated after that last foul. as a couple of changes will be made. As Yusefi will throw the ball inbound. Yusefi throws it over to McWord. And a whistle will be called. Don't know what's going on for a second. As one of the refs is talking over to the coach for the Eagles. No. 
Yusefi throws it over to McWord or to Maynard. Or say over to Yusefi. Yusefi shoots short and Escobles grabs the reap grabs the rebound. Dozier thought about it. Back to Escobles. Over to Zelensky. Right back to Jones. Kennedy passing the ball around. They have the lead for the first time. For the first time tonight, actually. This is the first lead in the game for them. As Jones makes the basket and gets the foul. And he has an opportunity to shoot free throws to get a three-point play. Jones has 26 points in this game. And continued foul trouble for Watertown as that, that was their 10th, so it's a double bonus. As they now have a, as Kennedy has a five point lead as on the other side and ends the scoring drought for Watertown. On the other side is gonna be Dozier. Dozier shoots and it's too strong there. Dozier grabs the offensive board and McWhort Grabs the rebounds. The ball was in the air too long as Garcia on the other side shoots a three. And it's offensive rebound by Maynard. And Torovici and a foul is called and it's going the other way. And this crowd is finally hyped up. It took a while, but the crowd is finally into this game after a really rough start. They're now back. Escobales moves to his right. Escobales over to Dozier. Dozier shoots, and it's good for Sincere Dozier. Dozier has more points in the second half than he did in the first half. Is on the other side is going to be Yusefi. Dozier over to Zelensky. Zelensky over to Todd. Todd right back to Dozier. Dozier thought about it. Dozier over to Jones. Jones has 26, loses the ball, and he's going to end up out of bounds. Last touch by McWhort. Kennedy 65, Watertown 62. And an exciting game. And over to Todd, Todd shoots. And a foul is gonna be called. And it's going the other way. So the basket doesn't count. It's gonna be against Escobales. As that basket would have made it a two possession game. Lucefi over to Maynard, Maynard. Over to Garcia, right near the free throw line. Garcia back over to Maynard. Maynard shoots a three, and it's good for ZJ Maynard, and the game is tied at 65. That's the first field goal of the game made for Maynard, and really came at a timely fashion. As Jones loses the ball, the ball ends up out of bounds, and it will be Watertown's ball. As Watertown was looking for the foul, you didn't get it, but it still ends up Watertown's ball. Yusefi with the ball, guarded by Dozier, and a foul is called against Dozier. As Dozier was looking for the offensive foul. Yusefi over to Maynard. There's 3.33 left in this game. Maynard over to Garcia. Garcia. Right near the free throw line over to Torvici. Can't make it. Jones with the rebound. Still a lot of time left. But it looks like from what we've seen in the second half, we're in store for an exciting finish. Jones bounce pass over to Zelensky and they take the lead again. Davon Zelensky, who has more points in the fourth quarter than he has in the first half, being a real offensive threat. 
as McWhirt on the other side makes the basket and the game is tied once again. Dozier drives in. Looked like he had an opening, but couldn't finish. Yusefi over to Garcia. Garcia and a foul is called. As it's 67, 67, 232 left. As Garcia will go to the free throw line to shoot two or one. Garcia shoots in and out, and Zelinski grabs the board. Jones over to Dozier, right back to Escobales, back to Jones. Jones over to Zelinski, bounce pass over to Todd. Todd shoots a three and short. Dozier almost grabbed the board, and Garcia grabs it. Garcia drives in, a foul is called. As I thought an offensive foul was gonna happen as Escobles really goes down. There's 206 left, 67, 67. Garcia will go to the free throw line. Garcia on the first free throw is good. And on the second free throw attempt is short. And on the tip, Garcia was able to grab his own board and a foul is gonna be called. As Kennedy looks like they're getting into some foul trouble of their own. And it's gonna be Garcia who will go back to the free throw line to shoot free throws. Garcia on the first attempt is short. That's two straight misses. Garcia on the second free throw attempt is good. And it's a two-point Watertown lead. Jones does a 360 to avoid Maynard. Jones throws it over to Brioso, right back to Dozier. And Selinski, right wing three, can't make it. Dozier grabs the board. And it's another offensive opportunity as Jones does a 360, shoots, he can't finish there, but Jones once again grabs his own offensive board and grabs the basket. That's another two-pointer for Jones. Garcia, 125 left. Garcia drives in with the right hand, too short. On the second, a chance, can't finish there. Ball's in the air, and Doge board. Jones drives in, Eurostar, it makes the basket. And the foul. Jones has an opportunity for a three-point play. As there's 116 left. Jones on the free throw is short. Dozier grabs the board. Refs call the whistle. Brioso with the ball as Watertown seen their 17 point lead diminish in a matter of a heartbeat as Brioso shoots a three, no good. And Yusefi gets fouled. The foul will be on Gavin Todd and it will be free throws.
Yusefi at the free throw line. These free throws are very important. Free th on the first free throw attempt is no good. One oh seven left. Yusefi on the second free throw attempt. In and out on the second free throw attempt as the ball ends up out of bounds. As Zelinski and Dozer tried to grab the board and it will still stay in Watertown's side. Guerrero over to McWard. Maynard right back to McWard. Right back to Maynard. Maynard shoots the three and it's short. And the ball ends up out of bounds and will go Kennedy's way. Smart play by Dozier to let it go out of bounds. As there's 55 seconds left in this game. As Brioso over to Dozier who almost lost it right back to Brioso. Jones, 360 over to Zelinski who goes into the right of the wing. And a travel is called and it's going the other way. That was a costly travel call. And Watertown will have the ball. As a timeout is called by Watertown with 37.9 seconds left. Oh man, it's going to be a tight end to this one. Watertown had a 17 point lead and watch it slipped away. As they are now down by two as Kennedy Eagles playing with a ton of confidence. Momentum has completely shifted their way. As they've been playing a lot better in that second in this half. That aggressiveness that we've seen from Watertown in that first half really have, hasn't been shown in this second half as they've been really struggling to make shots. Thirty-seven point nine seconds remaining. Maynard with the ball. Maynard over to the right, over to Yusefi. Yusefi shoots, and it's no good. Ball grabbed by Kennedy. And Dozier loses it, and Maynard will have the ball as there's 20 seconds left. Over to Yusefi, and a foul is going to be called against Jaquan Jones and free throws will be shot. Yusefi will go to the free throw line. He missed the last two free throws. Two free throws here will tie the game. On the first free throw attempt is good for Yusefi. 17.3 seconds remaining. The score is Kennedy 71 and Watertown 70. And what should be an exciting finish in this. Yusefi on the second free throw attempt is no good. Dozier gets fouled. And Dozier will go to the free throw line. Both teams are on the double bonus. As Dozier will go to the free throw line. So it's Maynard, Torvici, McWord, Guerrera, and Garcia. For the other side, it's Todd, Davis, Dozier, Zelinski, and Jones as Dozier misses the first free throw attempt as Guerrero will exit and DeFeo will come in. 15.6 seconds remaining. 
This is a one point lead. That is on the second attempt, or, and he's good. One to two for Dozier. As Garcia throws it over to Maynard. Maynard drives in, too short. McWork grabs the offensive board, and Zelinski. Question is who has the ball? And the foul will be And will be Kennedy's ball. 5.2 seconds remaining. As Zelinski will go to the free throw line to shoot two very important free throws. Zelinski at the free throw line. Two free throws. Will probably give the win for the Eagles. On the first free throw attempt, there's no good. And on the second free throw attempt, is no good there. He's over two. Five seconds remain. Garcia with the ball. Two seconds remain. Garcia. And a foul is going to be called as Dozier goes down. So there's two seconds remaining. Two seconds remaining as Garcia will go to the free throw line. Two free throws here would tie the game. Garcia on the first free throw attempt is good. And the second free throw attempt would tie this game. And here comes the second free throw attempt and it's in and out. Zolinski grabs the board and that will do it as the Kennedy Eagles upset Watertown. They get their first win in the league. They, an upset, five and seven on the season, winning 72 to 71. And what a comeback win for Kennedy Eagles. Down by 17, they're able to grab the victory. Wow, what a really good game here. It was intense towards the end. Watertown falls in six and four and two and three in the league. And for a presentation of DET Sports Media, my name is James Yevon and crew. We thank you for joining us here in a very exciting game at Kennedy High School. The final score, the Eagles 72 and Watertown Indians 71. Thank you for joining us. Good night and drive safely. <laughs>